Hi you guys and welcome back. Thank you so much for all your love and support. I truly do appreciate it over here on my channel. Welcome to those of you new just tuning in. Hope you guys all had a really good weekend. As you can see, my setup is a little bit different. This is uh, probably going to be somewhat how it will be from now. I have like uh, did an upgrade in my office. Actually, I'm not even done yet, but I am um, upgrading everything here and making it more functional for me. So really excited about that. I had a really busy weekend. I'm actually uh, still busy. Got a lot of stuff going on, but just wanted to give you guys a little update because I know you will notice that this is a little bit different, the setup, okay? So I am here to do your general uh, reading for um, Twin Flame Connection. So this is the uh, daily telepathy for those of you that identify with Twin Flame uh, Connection. Um, this is general, so that means it's not going to resonate with every twin flame out there, so please keep that in mind. I do offer personal readings, so if you're interested in booking one of those with me, that information is going to be below the video description uh, where it says show more, as well as all the decks I'll be using here today. Um, the majority of the items you see will be listed below as well as so my Instagram and TikTok. The candles and uh, body uh, splashes in the protection sprays are in my Etsy shop. Okay, and also if you are interested in joining um, my Patreon, there will be an extended version to this video. Um, and you, once you join, you can gain access to all the previous videos. And I do um, the daily telepathy an additional um, additional uh, two to three days a week on Patreon. Okay, I do it twice here on YouTube. So um, <clears throat> I got my tea together here. I'm gonna take a quick sip. Even though I still feel a little um, resistance, I really think it has to do with the masculine energy. The masculines are wanting to uh, communicate with the feminine. That's what my intuition is telling me, uh, but they are having trouble speaking, but some of them will be approaching you, okay? Some of them will, some will be returning and then some will be new love. So this is what I'm, the energy I've been picking up um, here intuitively and in the collective just to let you guys know all right so if you happen to hear me say he or she when i talk about the masculine or the feminine i'm just talking about energies and not a specific gender so the masculine or the feminine can be male or female so just take it how it resonates or applies in your situation also the energies can definitely be flipped so when i say i'm talking about you i could also be talking about your person but only you're going to know that okay so with that being said, let's go ahead and get these energies of the masculine and the feminine, their shared energy. All right. This is the energy oracle cards. This energy, the masculine is in towards the feminine. So we have the angel of balance. You see there's something here, something he's wanting to offer to the feminine. He's wanting to balance out this connection. Um, we have number 48. That can be significant as well. Um, but there's some type of, uh, and he can also be seeing the feminine as somebody that brings him balance, that brings him uh, peace uh, in the, um, in his life, okay? So let's go ahead and, like I said, I set this up differently, so it might be a little bit struggled <laughs> to work with, but it'll, it'll work out. All right, so this is a Celtic Tarot. So what is this angel of balance that the masculine is in when it comes to the feminine? Um, we have the Page of Swords, okay? So, this could be him trying to balance out uh, just watching, okay? Watching her. Um, this also, in this particular deck, the uh, Page of Swords can be about abandonment too. He could be also uh, trying to balance out if he abandoned the feminine. Um, this is watching, investigating type of energy. So he could be trying to figure out and learn how to make things right with the feminine. Um, that's what I'm getting here uh, strongly. Okay. So some of you guys could be dealing with air signs, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but it doesn't necessarily mean so. It could just be somebody that is trying to figure out, you know, how to make things right with you, how to balance things. It could also be trying to see if you are, you know, wanting the same thing. So let's go ahead and see what is the feminine's energy in towards the masculine at this time. And we have um, door to personal healing and happiness. So I do see this as an open energy, open to the feminine's in this energy of receiving, okay, is what I'm getting receiving that happiness, getting that rainbow. I do see a dove there, I see peace. She's open to 
things being peaceful or in a peaceful state. So we have number 34 that can be significant. It's also a seven. So the door to personal healing and happiness is what the feminine is, uh, her energy is. Okay, and what is this door to personal healing and happiness when it comes to the masculine? Relationship, okay? So, Ten of Pentacles is something solid. So, I feel the feminine is a very receptive energy towards this relationship. Uh, she's opening the doors. So, I feel like she's very open when it comes to the masculine and just open just to healing and and happiness in general whatever that means so it's going to mean different for you know a lot of you some of you guys may be wanting to go back to the same person some of you may be open to new connections but as you notice there's a rainbow here and there's a rainbow here so she's open you know the the spectrum is wide open when it comes to um the feminine's love okay so Ten of Pentacles is something solid. It's in the 3D. Um, she could also, some could be also focusing on their relationship um, as well. Okay, their, their finances could be uh, opening a lot of doors for them as well as what I'm getting here too. Um, so their shared energy here is contract. So there is a contract here between the two of them that they recognize. There is justice. We have number six, which is about balance. That number can be significant um, as well. So there is this justice energy. They know they have a contract. Um, and so let me see why this uh, is here. What's this contract? Oh my God, the Ten of Cups. So we have the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Angel of Balance. So the both of them want happiness. So they're in a shared energy. They're, they're, they're wanting this Ten of Cups. They're wanting the happily ever after. Something solid, something passionate, something emotional, something that is equal, something that is, you know, uh, happy you know happiness so they the both so they're both shared energy is to seek happiness uh within this connection okay to get that happily ever after i've seen a very a whole lot of happy energy happily ever after so the energy is very um good right now okay so let's go ahead and see what is the current situation between um, the masculine and the feminine? This is my situation stack. If you live in the United States, um, you can get my a deck from my site or my Etsy shop only. Um, if you're international, please send me an email. I will send you the link to order. So let's go ahead and see what is the current situation between the masculine and the feminine. We have a love affair. Dirty little secret down low. Okay, so some of them... This is, they're involved in a third party situation where things are secret. Are they keeping things secret from each other? Things are in a down low. Um, there was a third party of factor. And then some, this is a love affair. Okay, just a love affair that is uh, taking place. This is my um, Cupid's Desire stack. If you're new to my channel, it does have some sexual references. So if that is offensive to you, this would be a good time to uh, click off. All right, so let's go ahead and get more energy for the current situation between um, the masculine and the feminine. So we have birthday sex. So I'm feeling a lot of passion and this is also, I feel about being vulnerable with the birthday sex energy. It's, you know, stripping down, getting naked and, a, you know, allowing yourself to be vulnerable. So there is some type of energy here where someone is either um, trying to, they're, they're, they're keeping things secret there because they're afraid of being vulnerable um, is the main energy um, uh, that I'm getting, okay? So let's go ahead and um, get what is, and what I'll do is I'll see what is this love affair? Is it an extended, if that is a person or, you know, just a situation? All right, so let's go ahead and see how does the masculine currently see the feminine um, at this time? How is the masculine currently seeing the feminine at this time? So we have the Ace of Shields with the Ace of Pentacles. This is a solid offer, an opportunity, you know, something physical in the 3D, a relationship, 
okay um some they could be you know you could be a nerve sign they could be seeing you as you know capricorn virgo or a taurus uh doesn't necessarily mean so they could be just seeing you going towards a new uh work opportunity a new career um if they're not seeing you in a relationship with them they could be seeing you in a relationship with uh someone else if some of you guys are so let's go ahead and see why are they seeing you as the ace of shields here why did they see you as the ace of shields yeah so we have waves emotions coming and going so your person has a lot of emotions um here towards you they could also be seeing that you have a lot of um emotions uh towards them and they could be leaving okay because we have emotions coming and going maybe they see you as they're tired of the waves of emotions that they um experience with you like you know one minute they're emotional towards you and the next minute they're not so they could be seeing you like you releasing this energy, wanting to go towards something that is more emotionally fulfilling, opening that door to, um, you know, personal healing and happiness. So they do, be, you know, may see you as wanting a relationship with them, but they could be seeing that there's, it's like a, the relationship is like on and off kind of energy is what I'm getting. All right. So let's go ahead and see what is the uh, current challenge between you and your person meant to bring my mystery house deck out here. Like I said, I set up this change, so I'm going to use this because <laughs> uh, I like to use my mystery house for the challenge. But All right, so let's see. What is the current challenge or blockage uh, when it comes to this connection right now? What's the current challenge? Um, no, back up. Before I go to <laughs> challenge, um, what is working in favor of this connection at this time? What is working in favor of this connection between the two of you? What's working in favor? Kissing. <laughs> What's working in favor? Your person wants to kiss you, okay? They are loving your lips. <laughs> They're loving your lips. Um, they may be wanting to talk to you um, as well, but there's something about your lips. They want to kiss you. So there's a lot of uh, passion. There's just something here. So that's what's working in, in the favor of this connection. All right. So let's go ahead and see what is the current challenge uh, in this connection at this time. What is the current challenge or block in this connection at this time? In control dominate take over so someone needs to like dominate or take over make a decision um you know take control of the situation okay just do it you know already so let's get another card for what does this have to do with the current challenge or blockage what is this dominate uh take over energy make the first step mm -hmm. accept the offer is also what I'm getting. So some of you that may be struggling with taking this offer or this could be the mass and struggling to make that first step and give this offer. That's the challenge. It's just to, you know, take that first step. Just, you know, come out of that water, come out of those emotions and just like step onto the land. Okay. Step on the land, make that first step. So this is a page of cow Jones, which is the page of cups. So some of you guys could be dealing with, um, water sign pisces cancer or scorpio um doesn't necessarily mean so this could be somebody that is uh, it, it could be an age difference between the two of you or someone that is uh less mature than you at this time okay uh, that could be also the challenge so let's go ahead and see what is the um possible outcome in this uh situation what is the um house possible outcome between you and the Divine Masculine. Soulmates, similar friendship, romantic partner. So some of you guys will make this soul connection, okay? Um, you may go, you know, towards somebody that is, um, or if the Masculine sees you as a soulmate, if he doesn't um, recognize what the Twin Flame connection is, he may, you know, acknowledge that this is something that, is a soul connection, which this contract, somebody that's similar friendship, romantic partner. Some of you could be going towards a soulmate, 
um, somebody that is similar or you have a friendship with a romantic partner because I am picking up that energy too. So let me get another card here for the po possible uh, oh. <laughs> begging on knees humble. So somebody is going to be um, humbling themselves because of this connection. Okay, they may, may even apologize and reach out to you. So we do have the page of cups there. So the energy um, is present. I'm just going to move this over because I don't think you can see all these cards. All right. I think the uh, energy is present for the masculine to step out and apologize. Uh, and um, some of you guys, it's a past love is going to be returning. Some of you, you may be having two choices between the past love and a new love. And you may be, um, that could be the reason why you're feeling vulnerable in the situation. Because you may be feeling like, hey, if I go towards this person, am I going to still be connected to the person that, you know, I really uh, want to be with? Or if you... Um, go to this new route, how is this gonna work out for you? You know, you could be having a lot of questions. So that's what I'm getting there. So let's get another card for the possible outcome here with the soulmate in the begging. But you're gonna be humble in this situation. Yeah, so we have this five of swords energy. So this is, um, I feel like this is somebody that's gonna apologize because we have the begging here. Five of Swords is normally a very um, heavy energy of deception, deceit, win at all costs, okay? Um, as you see somebody in the background, they're, they're on their knees. So I feel this is about being humble, see? On knees, humble. Oh my God, look at that. He's on his knees. Can you see that? Yes, yeah, somebody is, you or the masculine or the both of you are gonna make yourself humble. You're gonna humble yourself in this connection that's what's going to happen okay uh for this uh, connection so some of you guys are going to be connecting back with your uh twin flame and some of you guys are going to be going towards a soulmate um yeah that's what i'm getting here all right let's get some messages from your person um that is a trip <laughs> that just tripping me out how he, this person is on their knees so this is the masculine that is on their knees. I feel it's the masculine that's going to humble themselves. Yeah. From this five of swords energy that they were in. They could have been hiding their feelings or, you know, just focus on other things and not really going towards this deception could just been um, being vulnerable with you. Okay. All right, so this is my Cupid's Desires love messages. It complements the Cupid's Desires deck. So let's see what does the masculine want to communicate to you at this time. What does the masculine want to say to you at this time? Electricity. When we kiss, oh my God, my whole body comes alive. Look at this. Kissing. Loving your lips. Something about your kiss, man. <laughs> so male or female, man, woman, whoever. Um, yeah, this masculine feels a lot of electricity uh, with you when you kiss. Their whole body comes alive when this happens, okay? So let's get um, a couple more cards here from the masculine. Affinity, this love has no ceiling. So this masculine is letting you know that there is, that's what it is. It's about being vulnerable. This, this masculine is like wanting to open themselves up. Okay, and so the challenge was just making that first step. That's it. Some of them may have already made this first step towards you, but that's that's not even a um, hard challenge is just to make the first step because they do want to balance this. They are trying to figure out how they can make this situation right. Irreplaceable. See, I tried to replace you, but it didn't work. I still want you. This This masculine here, try to go with other people and other relationships and they realize they kept being drawn back to you and so it's something that they've come to realize they they understand this now that's what's going on with this particular masculine so let's get one more card oh my god twin flame see i told you some of you guys are dealing with twin flame some of you guys are dealing with the soulmate we have the soulmate and the twin flame energy here Okay, 
So with this masculine sees you as their twin flame. Like I said, they may know about twin flame, they may not, but they see that you are the only one that has made me want to become a better person. You're the only one that's made them want to change. You're the one that wanted them to go towards their happiness. You're the one that made them want to be vulnerable. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Wow, this, this is a really good energy, you guys. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and um, if this resonated with you, like the video for me. Comment. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I uh, would definitely appreciate it. Um, I'm going to take this over to the extended now. So if you're interested in joining me, the link to the Patreon is below. So I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. You have a good day or night, whatever it is, where we are. Until next time, next video, peace, love, and light.